Growth hormone deficiency is a trial that many people face. My son and I struggle with this as we were growing up. I shared this story in my first book, Trial Tappers, and now I share it here with you in illustrated form. As a young boy, my lack of physical growth was a constant worry. The thing was, as a child, I struggled to physically grow, and I was always at the lowest end of the height scale. Test results identified the problem that my body was producing very little growth hormone. After enduring these tests multiple times in the day as a small child, I became traumatized towards hospitals and especially needles. Although my family attempted to compensate for the fact that I was the shortest person in all my classes growing up, they could not protect me from bullying. As often will occur to the shortest person in a school, bigger kids found it comical to tease, taunt, and bully me. At age 12, my doctor told my mother and me that it appeared that I had stopped growing a few years before. He told my mom and me that researchers had found some new experimental drugs to help me grow. Something miraculous began to happen. Over the next year, this medicine helped me grow six inches to my final height of five feet five inches tall. Growing this fast does not come without extreme growing pains. Although I am still short, it's better than my originally projected four feet eleven inches. Through this experience, I learned a lot about medical procedures as a child. I learned that bullying did not define me. I learned to focus on things I could control. Like most trials, sometimes we don't understand how we have emotionally grown from these experiences until much later in life. Once I married and had children, I realized I could use my past experience to help my second child. One of my worst fears came true when the doctor told my wife and me that my second son inherited the same growth hormone deficiency that I have. Fortunately, we recognized this early and worked with doctors to begin the required treatment in the form of growth hormone shots. This news came with the worry of the treatment ahead, but the hope that bullying would someday end. Once the problem was identified, deciding to proceed with the medical tests was temporarily worse than ignoring the problem. The huge hurdle was, in order to qualify for the treatment, my son had to endure similar terrible procedures of fasting, blood draws, and injections in order to prove to our insurance company that the $15,000 a month medication was necessary and would work. I felt sad hearing my son talk about being teased in school due to his size, and now I was reliving my past traumas of doctors. At a young age, my son had to learn that he was going to need daily shots so that he could grow, and I was going to have to overcome my fear of needles to help him. My son knew he was short. Kids are cruel and teased him about his height. But my childhood experience gave us hope that this could work for him. For the next several years, my son endured the daily shots and their side effects that included passing out, blood sugar levels dropping, and requiring special attention from each teacher. He faced all this as a young boy with the hope it would all pay off with additional growth some years in the future. The pain he had to experience each day was hard for my young son to understand as the results were very slow to see. Eventually, by age 16, with the help of those daily shots, my son was able to reach the same height as myself, about 5 feet 5 inches. My son was born with very little growth hormone, and yet he overcame this challenge. He learned to endure daily shots. He overcame bullying in his childhood. He survived. We worry this condition will be passed on to his children. If this is the case, I know my son has grown both physically and emotionally from this experience. In the past, we measured his growth in physical inches, but we now recognize how he has grown emotionally because of this experience. As an adult, he has developed a strong sense of empathy towards others that struggle with a variety of personal challenges. I am especially proud of how he interacts with others he knows who struggle with mental and physical challenges. He now works as a pharmacy technician and is studying to become a pharmacist. Will he be able to help other doctors learn about the medications needed for children lacking growth hormones? Will he find a cure for other kids facing this problem? His potential growth is unlimited.
I hope you enjoyed this video of how my son and I overcame this trial. If you want to see another video of someone who overcame a trial, please watch this next video.